What's up, everybody? How we doing? Happy Monday. It's Monday. I'm excited to be in the office. Well, it's the end of the day, actually. Everybody uh, already went home. But I did want to just say, I did, I did want to just say hi uh, and to let you know that things are really going well. It's been busy. It's been busy. It's, it's, I think you kind of are picking up on that. But it's been busy this like entire past like week. Uh, I got a new pair of shoes. Whoa. I'm not in the vlog. Do we, have, do we have a couple of painters out here right now? I'm, is that on? Dude, it's on right now. Blur me. I'm not on the vlog! <laughs> not on the vlog! What's I want to hug you because. It's okay. I'm like. It's okay. Yeah. I understand. What size are they really? No, no vlog. No I've always wanted to see in here. It's really bad right now. Okay. <laughs> it's a long shot. You want to try? Dude, are these ultra juice? Yeah. Whoa. It's only a nine, though. You I think that try? they'd try. Just try. Should I try it on? Let's see. Wait, who's wearing these? Dude, they fit. They're a little tight, but they're like, like they're, they wrap pretty, pretty, like, you know what I mean? Honestly, though, I would be like the one that it could possibly work for because, like, most guys, they have like huge feet, you know? Let's see. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It just wraps around a little snug. That's all it is. What color do you like? Oh, whoa, those are cool too. Bro, I feel like. I think, I love these, but I think I like the white. Dude, ones do better. the white. You think so? Do, yeah, do the white. I think I'm gonna stick with them, man. Dude, I'll totally wear don't tell anybody there's shoes in the basement. That'll be between the two of us. That's between the two of us. <laughs> Nobody else needs to know that there's anything in this basement of any value. Of at any all. value at all. Right. It's all garbage. Nobody knows a thing. Don't ask about it. Don't ask. Don't tell. Don't tell. <laughs> How funny was that? That's, that was literally our landlords for this place here. Love them. Shelby, James, amazing people. The fact that they were just willing to give me shoes was just amazing. But speaking of which, they actually run an amazing company. I think it's called Little Drill. Yes, Little Drill Photography Studio. Check them out on Instagram right here. They put out some amazing, amazing photography work and they work with some incredible people. So check them out. Literally the most like kind and funny people and I'm always excited to see what they're wearing because they have the coolest like style. Like, shoes and clothes. Speaking of which, clothes. I got this thing for two bucks at a thrift store. How cool is that? Huh? Right? It's like a hint of summer with a little bit of fall. It's almost fall. Did y'all know that? I'm so excited. Also, I was off on Friday and I did something really fun, actually. Inspiring others, but I'm an entrepreneur that is also not to be found. Hola, Pablo. Bang, bang, bang. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, you wanna come with me? <laughs> He can hear us if I hit the oh. talk back. I oh, see. Wow. I, I just asked him if he could hear us or not, but. Even when I'm like, I get that noise. <laughs> Stop that. Stop. That is nasty. That's <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, uh... So, uh, so that was my boy Frankie. I've known Frankie for the longest time. We actually went to middle school together and high school, but mainly in middle school is where we actually first met. Now, interestingly enough about Frankie, his family definitely was one of the wealthiest like in our area, may still be honestly, but in middle school, they definitely were. And I used to go over his house and be friends with him. And the fact that 
he had so much money as like his family, yet he never acted that way was something that like astounded me and, and I had a ton of respect for him growing up because of that. You know, I, I remember meeting him and, and just like becoming friends with him in school and he never mentioned the fact that he was like rich and he never like acted that way or, or you know, put that on people. And even when we went to his house, I like walked in and I was like, you live here? And he was like, yeah, I mean, what do you, what do you mean? <laughs> Like he, he didn't even care. You know, he, he had like a certain way about him that he never really showed that off. He never even really talked about it. He just was Frankie. And, and I thought that was the coolest thing. And the reason that I tell you all this is because the studio that you just saw is the same studio that he let us use for absolutely free to record our worship stuff in. So a little over a year ago, I hit Frankie up and I said, hey man, listen, I know that you guys have a studio like in your house and it's kind of like not used all the time, but I just wanted to see like, hey, is there any way that we can use that or rent it for the day or even pay something like a rate hourly just to use the studio? I'll bring my producer, I have musicians and, and I have everything. We've got the music. I, I, all we need is just the space because not only is it like an incredibly expensive like studio space, but he also has incredible gear in there that you, it's not easy to get access to that kind of stuff unless you pay an incredible amount of money either for the day or at an hourly rate. And when I brought this to him, I just said, hey, is there any way that we can literally pay to use this stuff? And he was like, is this for your church stuff? Is this like the worship you're writing? And I was like, yeah, you know, that's kind of what we're doing. We're just looking for a place to record it. And he was literally like, you know what, man? Just go ahead and use it. Here's the code to get in. Here's the Wi-Fi password. It's all you. And I was like, are you serious? And I just thought that was like, the kindest thing, like the fact that he has, I don't even know, a quarter million dollar studio, let's say roughly or something like that. And he just goes, like, goes ahead and, and lets us just use it literally whenever and for however long we want. I just thought that was the coolest thing. And, and the reason that we were here this past weekend was because Frankie actually is doing his own little project and he asked me to come and help him. And he was like, hey, do you, you think you could play a little acoustic on my tracks? And do you happen to know a bassist? And, and Bobby was all obviously a part of the recording process when we did the worship stuff. So I said, Bobby, this kid's letting us use his studio for free. The least that we can do is go and help him out. And so that's what we were doing there on Friday this past weekend. How do you do that? He goes, <laughs> You just rub the belly? Yeah, you have to. to... <laughs> See, it doesn't work. Anymore. I didn't really mean to go that in depth into that, but anyway, uh, yeah. Can you get another again? Hey, do you want you want something from Dunkin' Donuts? Something from what? From Dunkin' Donuts. Do you want like a nice coffee? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What do you want? Oh my gosh. How about one of those um the coconut ones? Coconut? They have, like toasted coconut donuts or something. Ice latte? Or, okay. Uh, iced coffee or just something something, something not sweet. Do you like a certain flavor or not? No, I don't like flavors. You don't like flavors. Okay, and do you want it like you just want cream? No co no sugar though. Sounds amazing. You guys. We got you. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming to Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> we got lime mint sparkling water. No vlog! <laughs> <laughs>